What's going down, people? What's going down on this glorious Friday? Um, lots of current events. Um, I'm sorry I did not get to y'all yesterday. I was gonna drop a video when I got in from the shop yesterday, but um, by the time I got here, it was time to uh, huh, get some nutrition and then get some sleep. So it, it's what it is. Um, let's start out with today's because everyone seems to be losing their shit and not a lot of people are in the know because there's media outlets that are spinning people up with something that's not so let's talk about what today's was not um supreme court six to three overturned roe versus wade that does not outlaw or ban abortion nationwide i'm gonna stay you know, partisan on this, you know, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna draw a line in the sand with my beliefs, so I'll do that at the end. So, the overturn of Roe does not ban abortion nationwide. You have to understand that Roe versus Wade afforded everyone in the country a constitutional protection for abortion. So this was how many decades ago? Uh, technologies come around, ultrasounds, other stuff. Um, the ability to adopt out. Tons of stuff, tons of other viable options are now here, along with multiple forms of birth control. So what this really addressed today had nothing to do with abortion. It had to do with addressing federal government overreach. So this is a win for both sides, whether you are a liberal or conservative i don't care either way i love both both sides i love both y'all we're all americans i got it this protects from government federal government overreach the overturn of roe means that something that should not have been protected under the constitution because there's nowhere in the constitution that directly applies to abortion or otherwise um they overturned that protection and deferred it back to the states. So for the media outlets, oh, this is uh, against women's rights. It's not. Let, let's be honest, this has nothing to do with women's rights. This kicks this back to the state level. So will there be some states that defer to their voters and their, ver their voters ban abortion? Absolutely. But that's the voters making the choice. That's you, me, Uncle Jerry next door, fucking Aunt Sally down the block. Joe shit the rag man up the street. Y'all decide which laws are passed. It's voted on. It's voted on. And if your government, your state government, is passing shit without the voters' consent, y'all know what to do. Whether it's Democrat, Republican, con conservative, liberal, fucking down the middle of the road, if they are doing shit you do not want as a society and as a people, we the people have the right to remove those motherfuckers from office and set forth new securities for our future. It's in the Constitution. Believe it or not, it's actually a really powerful document. For some people out there that will tell you the Constitution is outdated, yeah, nice try. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way too because the Bible's outdated too, but unfortunately, a lot of stuff that's happening today <laughs> was written in the Bible. <laughs> How long ago? So we won't even get into uh, historically challenging documents that happen to be true and accurate to this point in time. So Roe versus Wade has nothing to do with abortion. It had to do with government overreach and removing that ability from state governments and their constituents in their states to decide what is right for their states. I'm glad we got that back. States like New York, California, some of the, 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 the more uh, liberal states, this isn't gonna affect. There's no way that they're gonna pass anything that bans abortion. Cool, it's what, what it may be. That's a personal choice for you. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, but my morality is not yours. I can't tell you, hey, this is wrong, this is a sin, when you don't believe it's wrong and it's a sin because you don't abide by the same set of standards. So if we can all come to understand that, not, not everyone shares the same morality, regardless of what your belief system is, someone can believe the sky is freaking orange. Others of us know that it's blue, but if they believe it's orange, hey, who am I to tell them otherwise? <laughs> Knock yourself out and see how that works out for you. Ultimately, we all have consequences we have to deal with 
when the music stops and it's time to either <laughs> go home or go to hell, whether you believe in that or not is up to you. Whatever your belief system may be, I'm not gonna tell you what to believe, how to believe or who to believe. But what I will say is, tread very softly in today's day and age with the evil and the nastiness that's going around. And let's face it, if you live by the simple standard that if you are a good person and you treat people good, you stand a far better chance of having more meaningful relationships in your life and going down a path that you are gonna be happy that you lived when you look back on it. So, number two, this one's from yesterday. The Second Amendment. Now, to be honest with y'all, this is one the media said, oh, look, it only affects New York. Oh, that sucks for New York. Oh, New York, oh, New York, oh, New York. The ruling yesterday, also six to three, was centered around a case for concealed carry in New York, but has implications for the whole country. That 153 page dissertation and opinion by Justice Thomas, supported by his colleagues, essentially cut all gun control off at the knees. It's dead forever and all time. I guarantee you there was groups across the country in some of these liberal states and even some of the not liberal states that do have some form of gun control that had court documents ready to file. That, that opinion that came out and is now the law of the land cannot be challenged by anyone, anywhere, anyhow, any way. Not even the president can touch a opinion and a ruling from the Supreme Court. That's why it's the Supreme Court. You know, we have executive branch, <laughs> legislative, judicial. It's three branches of government. That's the highest level in the judicial branch. So you've seen a lot of the cases regarding the Second Amendment stalled out in the federal courts or appeals or stays and everything. They're waiting for clarification by who? By the Supreme Court. Because nobody wants to be that guy. Well, you know what? Justice Thomas stepped up yesterday and said, I'll be that guy. He removed the two-part scrutiny, which is huge, huge. No longer will there be allowed two-part scrutiny by any lower court when it comes to dealing with anything that suppresses, oppresses, prohibits, or restricts your rights as an American to keep and bear arms specifically outside of your house for defense. Black rifles, magazine capacity, everything. What this tells me as a 25 year law enforcement veteran is I am gonna have more good guys with guns out on the street. So when the bad guys do decide they're gonna do what they're gonna do, the good guys can do the job. They can protect themselves when they need to. When I'm minutes away and seconds count, people can protect themselves. Because that, let's face it, folks, I put it up in a tweet yesterday for law enforcement. I've been in this a long time. And when I got in, it was like one officer per like 8,000 citizens. Then it went up to one officer per 10,000 fucking citizens. Now we're with staffing shortages. We're like one officer per 20 to 25,000 citizens. So when you got some dude trying to kick your door in, or he's got you tied up and he's raping your wife or your daughter and one of your kids is calling 911, I'm five, six, seven, eight minutes away. When it's gonna be over in two and a half and y'all are gonna have your throats cut or, or rounds in your head from a gun that was not obtained legally. Because we all know that, you know, just because we make something illegal, the bad guys are gonna listen. It doesn't work that way, folks. It doesn't work that way. Dirtbaggers can go out in any one of these communities, in any one of these states, conservative or liberal otherwise, and get a weapon outside of the laws of the land in minutes. Where are they coming from? Ooh, let's try Mexico. Which is why we probably shouldn't have an open border. Because a lot of people are importing arms into Mexico and on up. Hmm. If 
funny how that happens. Um, whether it's guns, drugs, uh, money. <laughs> Third world nation transferred it to a flourishing company or a country, which, you know, we used to be flourishing, but there's still money here, so people are still gonna pay a premium. So just understand that 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 uh, that Second Amendment ruling yesterday has implications nationwide. You'll start to hear tricklings of it, maybe here on YouTube and some social media platforms. But watch the media, watch the the big the big boys. Nope, only affects New York. Oh no, and they're, they're going to minimize the fuck out of it because they do not want you tracking when these cases get filed in your states. Those y'all that live in uh, Illinois, New York, New Jersey. Uh, California, Washington, Oregon. Pay pay attention to what's going on in your courts. Pay attention. Because now there's going to be filings hitting to get different laws removed from the books. NFA? Class 3? Where does it stop? Everyone says, oh, it should be easier to get a concealed weapons permit. I said, cool, but isn't a concealed weapons permit, suppression of your Second Amendment rights? What about constitutional carry? Interesting, isn't it, folks? What I will say is if we do go to a nation for concealed carry on constitutional carry, do not take that as an option to not get training. Still go and get training. Educate yourself in the laws of the land that apply to your state, how to be able to act appropriately within the use of force continuum using the minimum amount of force necessary to stop a threat so that you don't get yourself in trouble one more piece on my caveat on real quick and it was <coughs> excuse me it was the uh, changes to Miranda versus Arizona I don't remember the case they filed it under but basically uh, Miranda writes um, I saw a bunch of people losing their minds this is for all my cops out there um, I saw a bunch of people losing their minds on social media yesterday. Um, Miranda versus Arizona. The changes to it affect custodial arrest. So, say I'm talking to Joe Shit the Ragman at the local park because somebody said fucking he looked shady and they thought he was he was selling dope to kids. And while I'm talking to this guy, I'm like, hey man, so what's going on? You know, I got called out here and everyone's, you know, afraid that, you know, you're out here doing good things in bad ways. And this dude, he's like, fuck it. He's homeless. Fucking, he wants three hots in a cot. He wants to go to jail. He lays it out there. Yeah, I'm out here, man. I got some weed. I'm trying to sell some weed so I can get some money for food, so on and so forth. I'm like, cool. All right. And I hook him up. Clink, clink. Double handcuffs. He's got the bracelets on. But I didn't read him his rights. This would fall under this new case law. Why? Because this was not a custodial arrest. It was not custodial arrest. Now I said, hey, asshole, come here. Nah, you're not free to leave. Fuck you. Nope. Uh-uh. You're detained. Not free to leave. This is why I'm here. Everyone says you're selling dope. And he dimes out to it. We're going to run into issues. So as soon as I believe someone or I suspect someone of committing crime and I make it a custodial arrest, which means I either stop them and tell them they are not free to leave or i move them from point a to point b put them in the back of my car restrain them in handcuffs without letting them know hey you are detained and detained only but even then that that's custodial because they're not free to leave then you start running into issues so everyone's like oh i'm not going to talk to the cops ever you know what nine out of ten times man we just want to get enough information to disposition this shit in a cad and fucking clear the call we got more important shit to be doing so uh, what I will tell you is when you play the game of, I want my lawyer, if you think that's going to end well for you, knock yourself out. Because I'm telling you like like 10 out of 10 times, if you tell me, I want my lawyer, I'm going to be like, cool, you just made my fucking report. Easy, bro, go ahead and turn off on me. Click, click, you're going to jail. And now there's only one side of the story that's going to get told. And when everyone does review your side of the story that you told with your lawyer in the room, they're going to be like, oh, he waited and got coached by his lawyer. This dude's full of shit. His fucking attorney is dirty as fuck and taught him how to lie right. Nope. I would not recommend, I would not recommend that y'all rely strictly on, I want my lawyer. Now, if you did some nefarious shit or you were involved in some, some shit that looks like it could be nefarious, 
it's always good to seek legal counsel. But for something where you're like, I really didn't do nothing wrong, you know, it was he said, she said, fucking I have no idea what's going on. Just to lawyer up like that, it's, that's a bad idea because now your story doesn't get out there and you look shady as fuck to everybody involved because <laughs> you waited to talk to your lawyer present when everything could have been disposed. It may not even have been a report. It may have been a little fucking a log entry. Um, but whoever fucking called it in, their fucking side is the God, uh, the God's honest truth now because guess what? They made a statement. So be very careful. If you did fuck up, you did break a law, you gotta uh, take into consideration, yeah, you're gonna have to accept responsibility for it. Um, some of the more serious shit, I, yes. You should probably talk with legal counsel before uh, speaking with law enforcement. We don't take it personal. When you tell me, and I'm dealing with a serious case, not some fucking stupid. Like, I fucking, I got to do this drunk in public. Oh, I want my lawyer. I'm like, dude, I, I'm asking you what your name is. Where do you live? Who are you? Like, nine out of ten times, I'm going to take this dude to his house and fucking, hey, man, fucking stay in the house. Don't do nothing stupid. But as soon as it's, oh, I want a lawyer. Fucking, you're going to jail now for, for fucking being stupid. Or figure to identify. Doesn't make no sense. Um, but the more serious shit... Not that any of y'all have done some more serious shit, but <laughs> there's a couple of y'all y'all I talk to. Y'all, you guys keep your nose clean. Um, seek legal counsel when it's appropriate, but do not use it like all cops are out to fuck you over. Because most of us, we're not. You get some kid that's been on 12 to 18 months. Yeah, he's a little overzealous, but he hasn't figured it out yet. He hasn't figured it out that if you take care of people in the community, they'll take care of you. And for all these dipshits yesterday, they're like, oh, cops don't want. Don't want citizens armed. Bullshit. 25-year cop here. I want every motherfucker in this country that can legally possess, get trained, and safely handle a firearm carrying a, a fucking weapon. Why? Because you are responsible for your safety and the safety of your family, and you never know. I could be getting my ass kicked on the side of the road or on somebody's fucking front porch, and you could be the one that saves my life or the life of one of the guys or gals that... I trained and I love out here in the field. So with that being said, I hope y'all understand more of these case laws that were released over the last couple days. If y'all have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I still don't know if I'm banned on Twitter. I know I dropped a bunch of heat yesterday, so I may be banned on there. But if, if not, you can drop them down on Twitter. Um, the email is also still available, mrxpaghetti at gmail.com. Remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. I'm going to be getting them out more on the regular. I've been busy the last couple weeks, but I do still love y'all. I'll have another Plan B um, part coming up here in the next probably, uh, let's say, 8 to 10 hours today. It'll be sometime today. So without further ado, y'all have a glorious Friday. Mr. X. Spaghetti, signing off.